The Chroma update is live in Pet Simulator 99, and once again, we have a controversial clan battle and a lot of other content that we just have to talk about. In this video, we will be talking about every single thing that you need to know about the Chroma update, as well as how to get the best possible odds for getting the Chroma pets. With that, we have to talk about what enchants you guys should be using, as well as how these stat pets actually work. I've been testing a ton of different loadouts, as well as other strategies for maximizing your points, so hopefully this video should help you guys out we also have to talk about the double opening glitch that can be used to actually open double the eggs at a time which should help you a lot for getting points in this event world now while this is a lot to talk about luckily for you guys i have summed it up pretty well so all i ask is that you give the video a like and subscribe for more we just hit 20,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much for supporting this channel now let's get right into this week's update all right you guys so we have about nine points to go over in this chroma update and the first point that you guys really should know is that your team is not permanent now a lot of people already know this but as you can see up here at the top every 24 hours on the dot your team is going to restart so i guess you're going to have to respin this wheel or it's just going to automatically pick one for you and you're going to be able to have a whole different color team now right now i am currently on the orange team so in 10 hours and 49 minutes and 40 five seconds it looks like i'm gonna spin the wheel and get a completely new color now i do kind of understand why they did this but i don't really agree with them doing it it does kind of take the significance away from the whole event if the team that you're grinding for isn't going to be your team tomorrow the second point about this chroma update actually relates to the teams as well since i am on the orange team this means that the pets that i'm opening in this chroma egg at the end zone is going to be matching the color of my team the best stat pet in the game is this chroma tiger currently and because i'm on the orange team i am opening up an orange chroma tiger same thing with the huge version so i guess if i open up this before the next 10 hours it will be an orange huge but if i open it up tomorrow it could be whatever color my team is then so that's kind of a cool feature and then the fact that there is six teams means there is going to be six different colors of these types of huges as well as the stat pets now point three is actually a very big thing that you guys should know about and that is that most enchants actually do not work in this event world at all it's really important that you use your enchant slots wisely now i might look crazy with this loadout that i'm about to show you right here but you guys are gonna have to hear me out because these speed books actually do work for some reason despite most enchants not working the speed five seems to definitely be working so that is why i am using it it just allows your huge pets to move a lot quicker through the area but the more controversial enchants are probably these large tab books now the reason why large taps is really good especially if you have the auto tap is that even though these large taps shouldn't be stacking they absolutely do as you can see when i click near any of these breakables i am doing damage to all of the breakables around it and it's actually a very significant amount and when my cursor isn't on the screen and the auto tap feature is just going i am automatically tapping with these large taps enabled now this just allows you to clear the area just a little bit faster i'm not saying it's anything crazy but honestly from my testing these are pretty much the only enchants that actually are doing something the orb enchants also are doing damage but they don't really do all that much and i don't think they're ever really useful for breakables now besides that i'm also using two lucky egg 10 books now this is to get me the best possible odds at getting the chroma tiger which should help me get points for this and also helps me to be put on the leaderboard for this most points hatched now if anybody from big games ever watches these videos or hears about this please for the love of god can we just be able to use all enchants in these event worlds i don't see a reason why all of these enchants have to be disabled in these worlds we have all these enchants and we spent so much time on these and we can't even use them for two weeks at a time it's actually getting pretty ridiculous it really just makes a lot of things feel useless in this game same thing with only being able to use 15 of our pets at a time it's really just annoying and a main reason why a lot of people hate these event worlds so if big games could actually just implement us being able to use all 99 of our pets as well as whatever enchants we want then i think these event worlds would be a lot more tolerable now moving on to point number four though this chroma huge tiger is a one in 16.6 million chance these are pretty average odds to what we've seen in the past 
Obviously, they're not going to compare to something like the RNG event world where we were getting tons of huges, but compared to like the good versus evil event world or the Dino Tycoon event, these odds are pretty similar. Now, since it's super important that we're opening this egg constantly so that we can engage in this color battle as well as this leaderboard over here, it's basically just another chance at a huge that we can get, which is a pretty good deal for players. At least it's something that we can just AFK over the next week so we don't have to like constantly go there every hour or something like that but the odds aren't really spectacular either and moving on from that we have the rave crab clan battle as you can see it says earn points with the color machine and that is going to be how you actually get points for this battle now once again we are seeing this theme with big games that they're making these events completely rng now the reason why this is completely rng despite what some people might think in order to get the clan points you actually have to spend your buckets of paint now to get these buckets of paint is actually just depending solely on whatever your team is doing now even if you are able to open a huge every hour which you won't be able to do your contribution to how your team is currently doing is very negligible which pretty much just means that the amount of clan points that you're going to be able to get is just completely rng and depending on how good your team is doing in that hour which kind of leads me to point six about this update which is kind of messed up especially if you do want to engage in this clan battle which is the fact that you actually have to pick between earning clan points and crafting the color gifts now this right here is one of the main reasons that me and my clan just stop participating in these clan battles is because not only is it just a very toxic environment they also have stupid things like this like having to choose between opening your gift bags and earning clan points now personally i just can't justify telling people not to open gifts this whole clan battle just so they can earn points for the clan now again i just don't think this is a very good system now i don't know who in the game design team at big games thought this was a good idea it just seems really stupid to me and kind of like demotivates a lot of the clan battle people that want to participate now since i did mention the color gifts we should move on to number seven which is what you can get inside of these color gifts now at minimum every single day if you are afk on the game for 24 hours you are going to get the ability to craft at least 24 of these gifts now inside these gifts are the huge chroma butterfly now as you can see if you look at the icon for the huge it's almost an exact copy of the huge lunar moth that's over here in the global event gift bag i think it's pretty funny that they almost exactly copied the face of that huge honestly i thought this was a bug when i first looked at it i thought it was just showing the huge lunar moth but they are pretty darn similar if you keep looking at them but besides the huge crumble butterfly you can also get a art hoverboard as well as an art booth that you can use in the trading plaza and that's pretty much it from the color gifts not too exciting but not too bad as well i don't currently have the odds to actually get the huge chroma butterfly from this now in terms of things that you can actually control about this update is actually this most points hatched leaderboard over here like i told you earlier in order to get the clan boy it's going to be completely rng just based on whatever team is currently winning but but if you do end up maximizing how much points you can actually earn from your team, you can actually be pushing this leaderboard, which will allow you to actually get this huge chroma swan. Now, the top 5,000 people on this leaderboard are going to be able to get this huge at the end of the week. And on top of that, if you get top 500, you can get the rainbow version. Now, there is a few ways to do this, including the glitch that was actually used during this good versus evil event world. Now, a lot of people were gatekeeping that they were doing this, and I personally think 100% that this is an exploit and something that big games should be able to fix. And I'm not 100% sure that this still works, but the way it did work back during that event is that a lot of people know that another way to actually automatically open this egg without auto hatch is by hovering over E here and then hovering over this buy button as well and then lining them up with an auto clicker and essentially you can auto hatch like this. Now, while some people think this is faster than just using auto hatch, the reason why they actually use this is because if you do this with an auto clicker at a certain speed, sometimes it will actually double the amount of pets you're opening. So for example, I believe I'm opening 102 pets right now. 
If you do this method properly, I'll be opening 204 pets at a time. Now, the reason why this is an exploit and I don't really support doing this, but I might as well show you if people are going to continue using it for this update is that essentially if you're opening 204 pets at a time instead of 102, you're essentially opening double the amount of points. Now, people were abusing the heck out of this during the good versus evil clan battle. And I'm sure if it is working, people will be abusing it as well. But since there is a leaderboard for getting these points, you might as well use this if Big Games doesn't see an issue with it. Personally, I won't be using this method, but if you do want to be pushing this leaderboard, then you might have to. Now, lastly, on the list of things you need to know about this update is that they did actually fix the ability for chests to spawn in the Kauai world. Now, I know most of you probably will be in this last area in the event world, but if you do want to grind for gems and be able to use all 99 of your pets as well as all of your enchants, then you could just grind the last area of the Kauai world. And if you are doing so, that means you can actually use your chest mimic enchant as well as your superior chest mimic now. Now, once again, that was a lot of yapping about this update, but hopefully I have summarized everything you could possibly need to know. If I find out any other methods for maximizing your points, I will surely make a video on it this week. I do want to get more involved with the game once again. I have been slacking quite a bit recently, so let me know what kind of videos you guys are looking to see down in the comment section below but besides that thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one and peace out